Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the door vent seal on your dishwasher. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the dishwasher from the cabinets. So you'll probably need to disconnect the inlet water supply and the drain hose from the sink. You'll definitely need to disconnect the power. So if your model uses a cord, simply unplug it from the receptacle or locate the electrical panel. Turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. And once we've done that, we'll unscrew the straps that secure the dishwasher to the bottom of your countertop. And then we'll pull that dishwasher out enough so that we can access the bottom of it. Now, before we remove the dishwasher from the cabinets, the first thing we should do is open the door up and remove the cutlery basket from the inner door. Just set that aside. Now with the dishwasher pulled out of the cabinets, we're next going to tilt that back, or you can lay it right on its back if you wish, but if you do that, you should remove the racks and be sure to remove any items that are on those racks. Now with it tilted back, our next step will be to remove the lower access panel. Just lift that panel off and set it aside. Now with the lower access panel removed, our next step is to disconnect the wire harness that goes up to the controls. There's a little locking tab. Simply depress the tab, pull the harness down to disconnect it. And you're also going to need to remove the two little plastic rivets that secure that harness to the outer tub. There's two little plastic rivets that attach to holes in that tub. So simply pull those out and make sure that harness is free. Now our next step will be to remove two quarter inch hex head screws from the bottom of the door, one in each corner. Now if you've laid the dishwasher down, you'll next want to stand that up and then just partially push it back into the cabinets. Now with the harness detached from the tub, we're gonna stand the dishwasher up but what we're gonna to need to do is to open the door partially and lock it in that position. To hold it in that position, we'll use small Allen key, something in the order of 3 seconds, eighth inch, three or three and a half millimeter. Just opposite the end of that channel that those plastic tabs went into, you'll see a hole in the frame. So we can fit that Allen wrench into that hole and then we'll open the door until it lines up When the Allen wrench goes through the hole in the door hinge, that'll hold it in that position. So we'll do one on each side, and then we can disassemble the door from the dishwasher. Now with the door locked open, we can then grasp both sides of that door, and we're just gonna pull straight up on it. You may need to tilt it in slightly, and we can lift it away from the hinges. And now we'll set that on a suitable work surface and we can change out the part. Now our next step is to remove this air vent cover. So using a pair of needle nose pliers, open them up as far as they'll go. And then we'll hook the points into these tabs on that cover and just turn it counterclockwise. Make sure you have a good downward pressure on that so that we don't damage that cover. Once we've loosened it, you may be able to turn it by hand. So we'll unthread that from the interior piece and we'll just set that aside. Now next we'll go to the bottom of the door again. We need to remove two screws, one on either side that secure that inner door panel to the outer door panel. We're a quarter inch hex head screw. Now with the retaining screws removed from the bottom, our next step in separating that inner door panel from the outer door panel is to simply push one away from the other. We push the inner door panel upwards while sec securing or holding the outer panel. That will detach the locking tabs on the side. We can then lift that inner door panel off and we'll temporarily remove the outer door panel and just set that aside. Now with the inner door panel laying face down on a soft work surface, 
we'll next need to remove this control housing from that inner door panel. To do so, we need to release some tabs across the top as well as four more across the bottom. The best method is to release the ones across the top first. So simply grasp that control housing and flex it by tilting it forward and release those tabs. Be careful not to put too much strain on the left side of the door where the vent is so we don't damage that component. With it released across the top, we'll turn it around again. Then using either a flat blade screwdriver or a putty knife, we'll release the tabs on the bottom side. It's important that we don't allow those top ones to re-engage while we're doing this procedure. So keep some tension on that. Do the same for the last two. Now once we've released all of those tabs, we can lift that whole assembly away from the door. And we'll just pivot it out of the way, or you can disconnect the wire harness and set it aside all together. And next we'll remove that old vent seal. Simply peel it away from the back side of that inner door panel. And then just clean up that area of any adhesive. Now when installing the new vent seal, we'll take that control housing and we'll fit that seal over that end of the vent. Make sure it sits flush. And then we'll reposition it onto the door. We we'll want to make sure on the right hand side that we keep that harness tucked into that little cutout. We'll engage the four tabs on the bottom side first. And then we'll press down on the top of that control housing to latch in the top tabs. We need to pull out slightly on the top to engage those. And now we're ready to put the inner door panel back with the outer door panel. And now we're ready to reattach the inner door panel to the outer door panel. Now when reinstalling the outer door panel to the inner door panel, we need to make sure that the top of that outer panel engages the bottom edge of our control housing. You'll note that there are some plastic tabs that protrude from the bottom of that control housing, and those will line up with the respective holes in the top of the outer door panel. As well, along the sides, we have slots on that outer door panel that will engage these hooks on the inner door panel. So simply place that outer door panel on top of the door. Keep it at least a half an inch back from the bottom edge of that control housing. And make sure that it lies flush with the inner door panel. That tells us that we've engaged those hooks. And then we we'll wanna pull that outer door panel up to meet the bottom of the control housing. And it should slide right into place. 
Once that's flush all across the top, we're going to flip it over and then we'll secure it on the bottom with two screws. Make sure the mounting bracket lines up with the inner door panel. Now we're ready to reinstall that vent cover. Want to make sure that the vent housing lines up with the opening in the door. Clear any debris that may be on those threads. Just lay it in place and start the threads by hand. Always going on two opposite points. Make sure that we don't get it cross threaded. Once it's hand tight, we'll take our needle nose pliers and again, we'll open those up as much as possible and then engage a couple of these tabs and with some downward pressure. Just tighten it securely. Now we're ready to put the complete door assembly back onto the dishwasher. Now when reinstalling that door assembly back onto the dishwasher itself, we want to make sure that the hinges fit down into these slots on either side. The best way to make sure that that happens is to keep it in an almost vertical position when we're starting them over the hinge. And then allow it to tilt back slightly. Make sure that it sits all the way down on both sides. At this point, we can pull that dishwasher out of the cabinet a bit so that we can remove the two Allen wrenches that we used as retainers to keep that door in a locked open position. So just tilt the dishwasher back towards the cabinets. Or if you wish, you can lay it completely on the floor. We'll just lift up slightly on that door to take some of the pressure off of the hinges. and remove the temporary door locks. Lower the door into a closed position. We'll reinstall the two screws, one in either corner. And that will secure the door to the hinge assemblies. Tighten those securely. Next, we'll reattach that wire harness. Make sure the locking tab is facing forward. Press it firmly into the connector until it latches. Line up those grommets, the holes in the outer tub. And we'll keep the harness tucked in place. The next we can stand that dishwasher up to push it back in the cabinets. If you disconnect it water lines, you'll need to leave the access panel off. And once you've reconnected that and the electrical connection, if you've removed it, then you can replace that lower access panel. Next, we want to make sure that we push the dishwasher fully back into the cabinets. We'll reattach the mounting brackets to the bottom of the countertop and secure our inlet water supply and our drain hose if you've removed both of those. And remember to put the cutlery basket back on the inner door panel before you close it up. And then we can push it into the cabinets. With the dishwasher back together and closed up, we're now ready to turn on the power and your repair is complete.